this is the state of the environment you know even as we speak all over the planet the environment in a, is in a process of degradation there is one species on this planet the homo sapiens that are responsible for entirely disturbing the ecosystem is there anything that we can do to stop this or to reverse the uh, the, the deterioration uh, good evening i am atya kaple i am a scientist at the csir lab national environmental engineering research institute and uh, as you can understand from the name we work on all aspects of the environment so this is not only my work it is also a motto in life you know a passion to conserve the environment and uh, just me being the heroine of the environment is not going to work so this talk is dedicated to motivate all you beautiful young people who are listening to this to be the environmental warriors to be the heroines of the environment so let us first understand you know what exactly is happening why is this environment being so deteriorated getting so deteriorated uh, now this is a community made up of people like you and me what we do is we take inputs from nature you know we take the land the sun the wind the water but what we give the outputs are solid waste you know contaminated water waste water land overuse of land climate change you can see how the flow of this is going you know it is moving in one direction and uh, no law will allow you know this to be a sustainable system you have to close the loop if you want to make the environment uh, sustainable if you want your ecosystem to survive and thrive what we say sustainable development this ha loop has to be closed you need to treat your water and get it back into reuse you need to make sure that your solid waste is not causing harm so unless you close all this you know climate change is a reality that is has already hit all of us but you know to stop it from going further and you know hurting our future generations now these kind of scenarios are not uncommon to all of us i'm sure we have seen wherever we go this is what actually and we we see in the environment so how do we actually deal with it in my lab we work with the microbes they are the actual silent warriors that are working towards the environment uh, i head the biotechnology and the genomics uh, division where we use microbes and plants to try and remediate the environment and me personally i work with bacteria so i'm going to talk to you a little bit about how the bacteria can actually help us they not only cause diarrhea but they have lot of beneficial uses you know so the first and most important is that uh, uh, they indicate contamination so if you can monitor which are the bacteria you can all say that which site is going to be like polluted how, how what is the safety level of your water what is the water quality and things like that bacteria have a very beautiful and a unique capability of uh, acquiring the genes that allow them to uh, sustain in a harsh environment you know this is one of the reasons why the bacteria are surviving right from the time the earth was incepted that is so many million years ago they are the only life forms that have continued from that point of time to today and that is because of this ability that they have this flexibility in their dna that so many man made chemicals are being pumped daily into the environment if you keep the bacteria in them for a long time they slowly develop you know a way of how to degrade them and use even that as a food now they have another unique property that they can also transfer these acquired genes into the other bacterial community by a process that is called horizontal gene transfer and very soon you will have a whole army of bacteria that can remediate your polluted uh, niche 
outside of this they are also responsible for you know cycling of the nutrients you know carbon when we burn carbon we lose it so how do you fix it back into the soil how do you get nitrogen back into the soil so these are the kind of things also that uh, the bacteria can do and that we exploit in my lab you, it's not as uh, you know simple as it sounds when i say that the bacteria can do x y and z there are so many factors that control their expression so in my lab what we do is we look at the microbial community through the source of their uh, dna you know just like you and me we have very unique dna i'm sure all of you know that all of us you know our dna is extremely unique to us so it is the blueprint of our life if we are going to uh, be prone to any kind of disease that information is already given in our dna if we are resistant to something that information is already in our dna so it's like a blueprint of our uh, life of an individual so similarly the metagenome is the blueprint of a polluted niche so it gives us all the answers that are there any life happening into that polluted niche is recorded in its metagenome and that is what we study in my lab we look at the taxonomy that is which kind of microbes are there which kind of bacteria are present in the niche we look at the functional capacity uh, does this bacteria have the scope uh, to degrade xyz pollutant and we look at also the stress factors just like you and me cannot function when we are under stress so it is with the bacteria so we need to understand what are the stress factors in the environment that are hampering them to actually perform and once we study all this we try to bring in a new dimension into bioremediation research like for example if you look at this we did this for a effluent treatment plant so all the things that you can see in the dotted line uh, they are the genes that are present in that particular activated biomass uh, this is what we got from our studies and all the bold lines that you can see they are the genes that are absent so for example if my now wastewater coming into this effluent treatment plant has naphthalene it's going to be biodegraded but if it has say phenanthrene it's not going to be degraded and it passes on Uh, untreated and then goes and contaminates whatever is your nearest water body there using all these tools that we developed in our lab we have tried to address one of the biggest problems facing our country and that is untreated sewage i'm not sure if you all are aware but the domestic wastewater that is generated in all our homes in the entire country we have only 30 to 40% of treatment capacity the remaining 60% flows down these nalas and reaches the nearest water body you know so what we did at niri was we developed using microbes plants and of course engineering parameters like you know sedimentation aeration and uh, different kinds of treatment cells and we convert these flowing drains into like say pakka nalas which have our treatment units uh, installed in them so you can see here it's not only you know the aesthetics behind it if you look at that little inset you will see that the inlet water into our treatment drain is black and dirty of course like how you expect sewage to be and the output is that clear water so what we have developed is a method to reduce the pollution that is reaching and contaminating every single water body i don't think there is a single uh, river or lake that we have left that is not uh, contaminated so this is a wonderful methodology and i sincerely wish that i could have left you with this happy image but very sadly you know this is not a fairy tale with a happily ever after kind of a story this is what the community did to all the drains that we have tried to treat you know prevent from entering into the river so you can see where we have put these rods to filter out 
a lot of you know the solids people have broken they've stolen it in some you can see it's entirely gone and then when they have a like a community uh, gathering they dumped all the patals into the treatment so you know a handful of scientists and some policy makers cannot really change this what should i say the state of the environment that we are in you know swachh bharat will only remain a dream until you uh, actually get the community involved in it so as a scientist i can tell you how it is to be done what are the factors that are contr controlling this bioremediation what are the parameters that you need to put but i really cannot stop you from putting your patal into the trains that i am treating and until you know you cooperate and you help or take responsibility that this is my planet too you know this is forget about the planet this is my area i live in this area i want the drain water to be clean you know to be treated until the citizens get that responsibility you cannot shift from you know now we are in gray area we cannot shift back into the green so community participation is important so don't be a single face in the crowd be the heroine that inspires everybody to take up and become environmental warriors because it's not the job of one single person it is the job of the community and help us to stop environmental deterioration further thank you